Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of JRC TV. This week we're gonna focus on trying to figure out the answer to the debate. Are you supposed to just fall in love with the way life is? Or are you supposed to change it and make it the way you want it? This week's episode, we're focusing on a very common question that many people struggle with, and I do have some very succinct answers we're going to give you at the end. Um, but let's talk about the debate first. The debate is, many people look at their life and try to figure out which is the right road to be on. Many times, the biggest mistake they make is they jump from one option to the other option, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. And here's the key. People ask the question, am I supposed to just fall in love with the way my life is and be satisfied and content and just happy with how it is? Fall in love with the moment and just experience it? Or am I supposed to like set goals and decide what I want and say, no, this is the way I want it. I'm not content with the status quo. I'm going to make it the way I want it and I'm going to work until it's there. Which is the right way to go? Well, here's what I'd say. A lot of it depends on the stage of life you're currently in. You know, if you're a 20, 18, 19, 25 year old male and you're just saying, hey, I'm just going to be happy and content with my life and just be content with how it is and that's all. I'm done. I'm not going to set goals. I'm not going to try to change anything. I'm just going to learn how to fall in love with what is. Now, that's awesome if your main outcome in life is just being happy and enjoying the moment. If that's your only outcome, Go for it. Be a monk. Enjoy your life. You're good. At the same time, I meet many of these young guys who read The Power of Now, who read these great meditation books, who sit down and they talk about non-attachment, they talk about just enjoying the moment and being present, but then you look at their goals and they want a Maserati with a private jet, and not just a jet, they want like a Gulfstream for a $25 million jet, and then they want to travel the world constantly and be the best at everything they do while only focusing on happiness and being in the moment. I hate to tell you, that plan will never get you those kind of goals. Now, I also know the flip side. People who have huge goals, things they're chasing, they have a plan, they have a mission, they're driven. They know what they're going after. They work 24 hours a day and they completely oftentimes burn themselves down to the ground. Now, is that the right way to go? Again, it depends on the stage of life. If you're 75 years old, still burning that tired every single day all the way to the ground, just to try to hit a goal, you might need to learn how to be a little content with your life. If you're 25 years old, smiling and being a little monk all day, and you still want those big goals, you might need to learn how to turn up the fire. So here's what we're gonna do in today's download. Number one, we're gonna help you figure out where you're currently at based on the goals you're trying to achieve, based on what you're trying to accomplish, who you're trying to be, and how you're trying to do it. Also based on kind of the stage of life you're in, which is something we'll get into over the next few episodes. But the stage of life you're in matters. If you're you know, zero to 18 or 18 to 40 years old, it's a time to focus and build. Let's see, if you're 60, 70, 80 years old, it's time to really relax and enjoy. Doesn't mean you have to fit into the status quo, but when you understand those general stages of life, you can better map out the way you should be approaching the game of life right now in this moment. So first, we'll help you identify just the general stages. Second, we'll help you identify where your greatest strengths are and where you're currently weak. Now, based on what your weakness is, that's where you want to really apply yourself. If you're really good at setting and achieving goals, learn how to enjoy it. If you're really good at enjoying it, learn how to set and achieve goals. Obviously, we want you to be the strongest version of yourself and maximize what you're really capable of. So download today's worksheet, have fun with this, and we'll see you next week for another episode of JRC TV. Till then, have an amazing week.